Hi friends, Stephanie here and I'm back with more movie chatter. And I'm here, but I'm not really here. I am away for the week. So what I did is last week I batch recorded a bunch of videos that will be scheduled and posted this week so that you do have content. I had to go to North Carolina to be with my family and my brother. If you've been around the channel, you already know what's going on, so I don't have to get into it, but I thank you for your patience. I apologize for the week that I missed. This is my favorite month of the year, and uh, I'm gonna make it up to you. So uh, what I'm gonna do today is I'm just gonna do a haul. It's got a lot of horror in it. And then the rest of the week are all kind of like Halloween themed, horror themed, light horror themed, little bit of everything videos and um, you'll get a little bit of everything and I will be back in real time either next weekend or early next week but we're gonna keep the ball rolling I have a lot of content planned out for you to make up for the lost time so that being said I'm just gonna get right into it with my first one which is the latest from Paramount Presents it's from 1999. It's a Martin Scorsese picture and it is Nicolas Cage in Bringing Out the Dead. This is the 4K Blue K 4K Blu-ray combo and I know people have been asking for this for a very long time. It's a great Martin Scorsese film. Uh, Nicholas, Page, uh, Nicholas Cage plays a an ambulance driver, an EMT, who is really, he's really burned out and he's having issues with a lot of his uh, people not surviving when he goes out on these calls and he's really feeling the emotional toll of the job and that's all I'm gonna say if you haven't seen this one give it a watch it takes place in like 1990s New York so it's really got that New York vibe going for it and it's just a fantastic movie and a fantastic fantastic performance from Nicolas Cage so don't miss out on this one it's a banger it's a good one uh, this next one I got I I put it out on there on Instagram I think about a week and a half ago to a very very mediocre response which leads me to believe that people haven't heard of this one yet because it's really good and it's perfect for this spooky season time of the year it's a Korean film and it's called Ex Exuma Exuma and what it is is um, this very wealthy family hires a shaman to figure out why their family has kind of been cursed with the firstborn always being born with some sort of rare illness. So what they do is you'll see these people on the back. Those are the shaman and the grave diggers. And what they do is they start digging up the graves of past relatives to find out maybe if the burials were done wrong or something was done inappropriately that is causing this sickness to run through this family and things get wild. This is a really good film. And it, like I said, especially for this time of the year, really spooky really freaky crazy stuff grave grave diggers grave robbers all kinds of things but really really good i enjoyed this one a lot so check it out if you have the chance and of course we have the uh the third in the trilogy from the uh the thai west uh i guess we'll call it the x series pearl x and maxine i have not watched this on disc yet i got it but i haven't watched it yet i did watch it on streaming I don't remember a lot of it. I have to watch it again. Um, and that's one of the, this is one of the films I'm going to take with me while I'm gone uh, to rewatch while I'm away. I'm not sure how I feel about it. I know it takes place, uh, late, I believe it's uh, also, it's uh, 1980s Hollywood, but there is some kind of uh, murders going on and uh, she is still trying to become a Hollywood star. So that's all I know about it. That's all I remember about it. Um, I need to watch it again, and then I think I'm gonna watch the whole trilogy, and then uh, I'll, I'll decide what order I like them in. I watched them Pearl, X, and then Maxine. That's how I'm going into it now. I know that's not the way it was intended, but that's how I'm gonna work it, and I'll see how it, uh, I'll see how I feel about it afterwards, and I will get back to you on this one. Um, this is another one. This one's from Umbrella. And a couple people suggested uh, picking this up. It's Triangle. I don't know if this has ever had a Blu-ray release in the States, but it's it's a Region B, but it plays everywhere. Uh, Umbrella and Imprint, they always say Region B, but they play on anything. And what this is, we have a gal who gets invited on a, uh, I guess it's, uh, I guess you could call it like a, almost like a boat, a yacht uh, trip with some friends, and they run into some bad weather, and their boat kind of gets flipped over, and they're stranded. And this big ship comes along and they board the ship and then all these weird things start happening. So this is definitely like 
I would say it's like a supernatural thriller, but it's really, really good. If you haven't seen Triangle, definitely put it on your list to check out because it's well worth it. You might be able to get a DVD copy here in the States. I don't think there's a Blu-ray or you could pick this up right over on Orbit. Speaking of which, I have the Orbit uh, business card right here because we want to send out some love to Orbit. Uh, they got uh, the whole area where they are in Asheville, North Carolina, just got hit so hard along with it with Florida afterwards. But uh, it's amazing how fast Orbit has turned around and gotten things right out to us. And uh, they're working hard down there. They have no water. And uh, I don't think they have utilities and things like that. I think some it's spotty. Some places have utilities. But send some love to Orbit and go over to their site and pick up a few things because they're working hard to keep that business going and to just keep their spirits up. And uh, I just wanted to give them a little shout out. So, uh, yeah, I picked this up on Orbit and uh, so can you. So the next one I got, this is thanks to my friend Nathan Jones who mentioned it in a haul video that he, he did and I didn't even, I hadn't even heard of this one. It's a Park Chan-wook film who I love and um, this one is, yes, this one is Region A but this one is in English so there, there's no subtitles. Basically what it is is uh, this young gal, uh, uh, Nicole Kidman plays her mother her father has passed away and this guy an uncle she didn't know she had shows up to kind of try to take care of the family and what we find out is maybe he's not such a great guy after all but I'm gonna let you guys uh, discover this one for yourself I enjoyed this quite a bit it's kind of like a, another supernatural thriller type of film but uh, anything from Park Chan-wook I'm in so uh, Stoker was another uh, good pick and of course I have the latest Bad Boys Ride or Die I really enjoyed this one. I didn't know how I was going to feel about it. I'm like, four films in. Can they still hold up? Can the jokes still fly? I thought it was really good. And that 4K is beautiful. It's a stunning 4K. So if you haven't seen the latest Bad Boys, definitely pick it up. There's also a really nice steelbook. Uh, now this next one, I have not seen this one yet, but I've heard really good things about it. And it is The Cat and the Canary. This is from Eureka, uh, Masters of Cinema. I believe this one is Region B. Yeah, this one's region B lot, so you have to be uh, have a region free player for this to play. But it's an older film. It's from the 1930s, and it's 1930s horror. So I'm really looking forward to this because I love classic horror. So I'm really looking forward to watching this and sharing my thoughts with you at a later time, because we are going to do that. Uh, and then I picked up uh, this one for when I'm in the mood for a western. I've really been getting into westerns lately. Not this month. This month is horror, but uh, this is Kevin Cosner's Horizon, the Amer an American saga, chapter one. So I haven't watched this yet, but I hear really good things. And I think just think Kevin Cosner does such a great job with westerns. And uh, I actually even sent a copy of this to my parents because they love them too. So they're looking forward to watching it as well. So that's my next pickup. Uh, now this was a mistake because I this I got from uh, yeah shout uh, shout factory scream factory whatever you want to call it it's the collector's edition of as above so below which is a, a found footage film that I actually really do like and I thought it was a 4K I thought it was a 4K upgrade I paid no attention to it but do 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 it's a Blu-ray so I just have I just have a Blu-ray with a new cover but you know. I don't know. What am I going to do? I, I should pay more attention when I'm shopping, especially online. But um, I love this movie, and if you haven't seen it, definitely check it out. It's a good one, and it's great for this time of the year. So as above, so below. Another great one. Now this one I picked up, uh, I forget who recommended this one, but it, it seems like it's going to be a lot of fun, and it sounds like it's good for this time of the year, and it's also classic black and white uh, like horror thriller. It's called The Bat Whispers. Uh, I saw I saw a few people pick it up. I grabbed it on Orbit, and um, it also I think it has some it has a ton of bonus features. It has three complete versions of the Bat Whispers, starting uh, um, in 1931, and then I think it has a bunch of short films. It also comes with a nice uh, it comes with the disc, and then it comes with a really nice booklet. And oh, let me see. There's another disc in there. So I guess uh, there's a region A, this is region A, disc one, and yeah, they're both region A. So there's two discs in there. I guess one has the main films and then the other one has special features and the shorts was what I would assume. 
and then it comes with a nice booklet. So uh, definitely check out Orbit and see if they still have this one in stock. And if not, they'll get it back in stock because they always do. But um, this sounded really interesting. And uh, like I said, I love classic horror. So I put the Bat Whispers in my cart. And of course, I love this one. I don't think I showed this one in uh, any videos yet, but I did get the 4K of uh, Johnny Depp as Sweeney Todd. I love, love, love this movie. Uh, the first time I watched it, I was on a plane going to Puerto Rico, and I couldn't believe how much I really loved it because you guys know how I am with musicals, but this one just hits, and I think it's great. It's dark. It's moody. It's broody. It's everything. It takes place in London, and it's got that like dark vibe to it, and uh, I just love it. And Johnny Depp is fantastic. If you haven't seen Sweeney Todd yet, pick it up. And this 4K is stunning. It is a beautifully done 4K. So you're not going to miss with that one. Uh, I'm just going to clean up a few things here and we will re be right back. Okay, I'm back and I now have room on my table. And this table is a lot smaller than you'd think it uh, would be. And you'll see when we do the room tour, that is coming. Uh, so is Christmas, I know. But uh, you'll be surprised how small the table is. And I'm going to start with box sets to get them out of the way. The first one is, of course, The Hitcher. I, I, I'm sure you've seen a million unboxings of this one. Orbit was amazing. They got it out. I mean, you're talking, they went through a hurricane and then they started cranking these out in the mail. Amazing. Uh, mine, mine didn't uh, do so well in the mail. Got a little banged up on the sides. A uh, little little banged up on the bottom here but nothing I can't live with I'm just happy to have it and I can't wait to sit down and give this a look and see how they did with everything because I'm sure it is a home run because Second Sight just never disappoints and I'm really happy to have the Hitcher set in my collection now this next one this is another the, these next two are box sets and I will explain to you why I have them uh, I did not really technically buy either one the first one is from imprint and it is the Harvey Keitel film focus box set it contains bad lieutenant the ba the young Americans dangerous game imaginary crimes clockers and holy smoke and this is what it looks like they make beautiful box sets they're just really really pricey and each one has its own case it comes with a nice uh card from the back that you can keep and then it also comes with a nice glossy book about the films now how I came upon this one is because I was one of the people who pre-ordered the what's in the box 7 4k set that we were supposed to get I don't know a year ago and it got delayed and it got delayed and now it's not happening so where I purchased it from W did not offer any kind of refund they wouldn't just refund my credit card what they did is they gave a store credit and I was not real happy about that but I figured you know what if I have a store credit I decided to pick this up and I picked it up along with another film and what's done is done and then hopefully when they figure out what they're doing with seven how they're going to get a 4k out to us be it a slip cover a set a uh, steelbook whatever all of the above I'll grab one of them but for now it's the Harvey Keitel imprint box set which isn't a bad thing to have it's just not something that I planned to spend my money on so I got that so the next one that I have here uh, is a Curzon set and I have wanted this for a very long time but if you knew the price tag you would understand why I was uh, not willing to buy it for myself but this was gifted to me from someone very kind and generous and it is the Lars von Trier Curzon set. I believe it's 14 movies. It's Element of a Crime, Epidemic, Europa, Breaking the Waves, The Idiots, Dogville, The Five Obstructions, Manderley, The Boss of It All, Antichrist, Melancholia, Nymphomaniac, The Director's Cuts Volume 1 and 2, and The House That Jack Built. So it doesn't have all his films. It's not a comprehensive collection of his films, but it is quite a, quite a grouping of his films. And I'm a big fan of Lars von Trier. I know people have their opinions of him I do too but I love his work so uh, I do wish that Dancer in the Dark starring Bjork had been in here because I'm still working on a DVD for that one that is one of my favorite Lars von Trier films I think it is just a masterpiece and Bjork carries that film 
but this is a really great set. If it wasn't so difficult to get out, I would show you the artwork. It's gorgeous. It kind of reminds me of like Salvador Dali work, but it's just really beautiful. It's a beautiful set and uh, I'm glad I was able to get it and uh, thank you to the person who was kind enough to gift it to me. And now I'm just going to get into the rest of these and uh, we're going to wrap it up. I picked up the copy of Rosemary's Baby that was on Orbit because every copy that I have of Rosemary's Baby is screwed up. My Criterion that's now out of print is completely scratched. I don't know why. Um, I got uh, the 4K from Paramount. They sent it for a review. That disc was all messed up. So I am hoping, hoping that this one, and it's a 4K and a Blu-ray, so I'm hoping that this one will be the one that fixes the Rosemary's Baby problem because I have to have it in my collection. I love this movie. So I got that. Uh, I got this one because somebody uh, recommended it. I don't remember who. Uh, it's a Shout Select title. It stars Robin Williams, which I'm sold right there. Edward Norton and Danny DeVito. What a cast. It's called Death to Smoochie. I've never seen it, but I heard really good things. So I'm looking forward to watching this one. And it was a film that I did not... Obviously, if I've never heard of it, I didn't have it in my collection. So... I rectified that one. Uh, I got Despicable Me 4 because I just think these films are funny. I love Steve Carell. I'm not the biggest fan of the Minions. I don't know. I know the Minions are very popular. They're not my favorite part. I just love Steve Carell and the kids and I just love these. So I just thought this would be a fun one and I uh, picked it up in 4K. I also got uh, Friday Night Lights. I love these kind of movies. So they're just fun and uh, I'm looking forward to see how the transfer is on this one and I can get back to you. I got the Wind River Steelbook. I don't think I've shown this to you yet. I love this film. This uh, I did watch it when it came in. The 4K is absolutely beautiful. And this is one of those Lionsgate uh, steels where they have the, the slip cover. And it is a really nice, it's a really nice looking uh, steelbook. So very happy to have it in the collection. And they have some nice nice disc artwork which always makes for uh, a complete finished product feel I think I, I think when they go the extra mile and they do all those little nice touches I think it really makes a difference now this next stack I'm gonna run through real quick um, these are uh, steelbooks from Walmart some of them are those the horror steelbooks that everybody's been picking up this first one was uh, this is a Scream Factory one Return of the Living Dead. I mean, how could I not get that? I love this movie, and I do have another one, but I, I just, I love this one, and I love this movie so much, so I had to pick that one up. I got Texas Chainsaw. This is from Walmart. I know, I know this is not the best movie, but uh, I got ones that I did not have in my collection or that I didn't have a steelbook for, so I picked that one up. Hannibal Rising. I had never seen this one. I didn't know how I was going to feel about it. Somebody else playing Hannibal. I thought it was pretty good. It's decent. It's not bad. It, it, this is a decent movie. I thought it was okay. So if you haven't seen Hannibal Rising, uh, maybe give it a stream. This is such a good one and I was so excited. I love the steelbook. I love Ethan Hawke in this movie. I think it's so creepy, so freaky. It is sinister. That is a great steelbook. So if you can still get your hands on it, I see people, it looks like uh, Walmarts are reloading. So uh, you can probably still get it. Uh, it says, we have, uh, we have to leave here now. They all have little quotes on the back, but I really, really wanted this one on, uh, I know they're only Blu-ray, they're not upgraded to 4K, but I just really wanted a steel book of this one because I do really like Sinister. And of course I had to get your next because I just love this movie and I think it's nice the way that I think it's cool the way they they kept it simple but it's um it's you know it has a pattern to it because you have half of them are red half of them are orange and they're all black they're great for Halloween and um I'm just happy that they keep putting out I'm happy that they keep putting out new media we're always happy with new physical media now I'm just gonna uh buzz through these box sets you know I love my little box sets uh I got the Joker the original Joker these are um overseas copies these are not American copies and it comes with a a nice yellow steel book and it comes with a book of or cards I also got the original Beetlejuice I do believe I have this steel book uh, I might swap it out I don't know we'll see which one I, I'm not sure if I have this one I think I have this version but these are all uh, these are 4k and blu-ray 
I think the Blu-ray is probably region B, but they're nice. And I just, I, I love, love, love these uh, different box sets that they're putting out now. It also comes with a, uh, a book of art cards, which none of us have figured out. Steve, what are we doing with the art cards? You got to tell me. I'm thinking we're using them as coasters. But I also got uh, King Kong. I had gotten this a few weeks ago or maybe a month ago, but this Peter Jackson's King Kong, uh, the 4K is beautiful. This is a beautiful, beautiful steel book. Love the steel book. And I love how they have like that little, uh, like it's almost like it's uh, an inlay of the, uh, the picture. They have like the picture frame around it. So that's really nice. And it comes in like a, uh, it's like a soft touch box. Really, really nice. And this one is numbered. It's number 162 out of 2000. I also picked up, thanks to Tim Talks Talkies, because he had to go and show this one and get me going. Uh, I got the Northman, Robert Eggers, uh, the Northman. And uh, this is really nice too. And it, has a, it comes with a nice book and some cards. And again, a beautiful, beautiful steel book. So... Very happy to add that to the collection, and uh, thanks, Tim, for showing it off. And if you guys haven't checked out Tim's, uh, his shorts and his um, TikToks, he's really doing a lot of TikToks, and they're really very good. He shows a lot of cool things, so go check him out over on TikTok. Uh, this is number 942 of 2000, so getting up there. These are still available on... Um, these are still available on Orbit, but, you know, obviously they're getting down to the, to the end. This one I actually did import from uh, Australia. It's the Late Night with the Devil. It is not a steel book. It is a just an Amory case. But I really enjoyed this, so I was happy to get the uh, the set with the extra goodies in it. I really like that. And I did the same thing with JSA. I found out that this was going to be available on Orbit. I did not import this one. This is available on Orbit along with the Raid and a few others. They do have a few of these sets. So I had originally just gotten the standard copy, so I'll be selling the standard copy, and I'm just going to keep this one, this nice set. And uh, like I said, go over on Orbit. If you're inter interested in these sets, go check it out. Um, I also picked up the Chaser. It's another one that Orbit had over on their set, so I grabbed that one because uh, I enjoyed this movie very much. So if you like those... Definitely go check them out because if they sell, if they do well with them, they're going to continue to carry them. And uh, I, I know I would much rather buy them from Orbit. I'd rather give Orbit my, my business. And also it's a lot cheaper to get them from Orbit than to import them and pay $20 shipping from Australia. And I got the third and final set of, uh, third and final season of Chucky. And it has the TV show and it has a cool lenticular uh, cover. I have not watched this uh, show at all yet. I hear good things. Unfortunately, the third season is the last, so now I have all three seasons, and I'll probably just binge watch them because who doesn't like Chucky? I mean, come on. You have to have Chucky. I have shown this before, and we talked about it. It's the Friday the 13th, the 4K set from Arrow, which looks amazing and changed my whole mind about this movie. I love, love, love it. And uh, there are more Friday the 13th movies coming, I think, Jason Takes Manhattan, and maybe Jason X, and maybe Jason Goes to Hell. I don't know about Jason Goes... Uh, I don't know about Jason Takes Manhattan. I know it's Jason Goes to Hell and Jason X, and it's Freddy vs. Jason are supposedly getting 4K releases from Arrow, so keep our fingers crossed. I also got The Man from U.N.C.L.E., which I really like, Guy Ritchie film. Uh, if you're a fan of Guy Ritchie and you haven't seen this one, you owe it to yourself. I think this is an underrated gem from him. I think it's skipped over a lot, and it's really good, and the 4K looks fantastic. I grabbed Torso, because I had never gotten this one. Um, I don't think I even have the Blu-ray of this one, but people have talked about it. They said they really liked it. I believe it's like a Giallo-type film, so I'm looking forward to sitting down and checking this one out. And finally, from uh, Arrow, I got the uh, Vin Diesel in the Chronicles of Riddick. And I did have uh, Pitch Black that they put out about a year ago, but they didn't do a nice set like this. They just kind of did the case. There wasn't even a slipcover on it, but you know what? We'll take what we can get. It's about the movie. So um, I do have Pitch Black and Chronicles of Riddick now, which I will watch back to back. And just uh, three more things here, and then we're going to call it. I got the Planet of the Apes. Um, what is this one? Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. I got the Steelbook. This is a beautiful Steelbook. 
I was really surprised how much nicer it is in person. That's front, back, and spine. And then on the inside, it comes with a digital copy. It comes with some interior artwork and some disc art. And I really liked this a lot more than I expected to. I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about it because I was happy with the original trilogy. I'm not really sure where they're going with this, but I think it has a lot of potential. And I really, really did enjoy this one. So if you haven't seen it, definitely check it out. And yes, I did get the um, God, uh, Godzilla Minus One. I got the set that came out. I didn't realize that we were going to be getting steel books and all kinds of goodies here. So, you know, I'm going to be double dipping at some point. Uh, I think I have one ordered for, from Orbit. I usually order everything through Orbit. So uh, hopefully um, we'll be getting that soon. And I'm going to break into this one because I think what it is, I think the special features on here, I don't think they all have English subtitles. So that's a good reason to uh, justify my double dipping into the, uh, the American steel book. So uh, yes, I did get this one. I will let you know how it looks once I get into it. And finally, today, I have the second sight for your next, a movie that I love. I love everything about this. It's so good. It's about a family getting together for a celebratory dinner, and all of a sudden, arrows start flying through the, through the windows, and they're picking people off in the family left and right. And what I say about this film all the time is this has one of the best final girl she is the ultimate badass and if you haven't seen your next check it out one way or another whether you get the second sight or you grab the blu-ray off of amazon just watch it so that's it that is my uh current haul that's what i have to date uh as of today when i'm uh, getting ready to leave like i said i'm gonna post videos throughout the week they will be scheduled i'll try and get them to be at the same time every day but uh, you know I'm a little crazy with the computer, so I'm still, we'll see if I can pull that one off. But they are going to be posting through the week. Pickle does have a surprise for you guys coming either at the end of the week or the beginning of the weekend. So stay tuned for that. And uh, we have lots of good stuff coming up. I have plenty of content planned for the rest of the month. And we're going to, we're going to catch up and we're going to have a lot of Halloween goodness and spooky goodness. So uh, I want to thank you for being patient with me and understanding what I'm going through and dealing with. And I want to thank you for watching. You know, I appreciate everyone who clicks on these videos, takes time to watch the videos, hopefully enjoy them, find some things to pick up. And uh, I hope you're having fun, whatever you're watching, whatever you're doing, have fun, be safe. And um, I will be talking to you through the week from the past into the future into the past and it's kind of like a supernatural vibe we're going to have going for the rest of this week but uh anyway i want to thank you again and uh, if you enjoy this kind of content collection updates hauls top 10 lists all kinds of goodies uh consider subscribing and hit the bell notification and i'm going to catch you in the next one so for now that's a wrap